the jump cut. If you spend any amount of time watching videos here on YouTube, you have seen what is called a jump cut. A jump cut is when there is a change in the continuity of the video editing. In filmmaking, jump cuts are avoided at all costs. Normal observations of the guidelines of continuity editing do not allow for jump cuts. But in online video making, the jump cut has become a bit of a stylistic tool employed for a number of reasons. One reason for employing a jump cut is to avoid that moment in between sentences to breathe because research has shown that the attention span of the average YouTube user is so short that videos where people take a moment to insert a period or stop to breathe get fewer views. So while it may appear as though I just spoke the world's longest run-on sentence, it's really done so you'll keep watching. Great job there, Mr. and Mrs. Short Attention Span. Another use of jump cuts is if you like to do cheesy impressions, but it takes you a little while to get into character for each one. You can edit out all the ramp-up time it takes you to sell your lame impressions. YouTube? Do I have to press one for English on YouTube? This is Howard Cosell. And if you're younger than 35, you have no idea how good this impression is. La 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 la! La 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 la! Waka waka waka! Mama always said, oh, oh, wait, I gotta go pay. There's a storm brewing. Well, Nancy, I gotta tell you, I'm looking at you and I just don't like the look of your face. So, so I walk into this room. Tell me, punk, are you gonna make fun of my impressions down in the comments below? <laughs> there is no try. There is only do. Another reason for jump cuts is to create a transition in the action. I may want to zoom in on myself to accentuate a particular point in my video ramblings. A jump cut tells you that something I'm about to say is of particular interest, at least to me. My personal use of the jump cut has come out of pure necessity. There are those times that I just flub lines and just don't feel like reshooting an entire segment just to create one simple line. Now, while this may sound lazy on my part, and you may say, hey, I deserve a little better than that. As the viewer, I think you should strive to do your best. Well, I have to say that for the most part I agree, but given that I usually shoot in pretty small windows of opportunity due to my schedule, sometimes I have to fix in editing what I have no time to fix in real life. So in the editing process, I can make it seem as though I came off really smooth and made no mistakes at all. It's awesome! People think my mouth and my ramblings, they just flow out without a hitch, when in truth, it usually looks something like this. A jump cut tells you that something is a... I'm playing as this... this oh observations of guidelines of continuity editing. Employing the jump cut is to avoid that awkward moment in, be in, in, in between sentences. I can't read. See, that's the problem. I never learned how to read. Another great use of jump cuts is to make is another great use of jump cuts is 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 gosh, without a hitch, but it's usually gosh, I just can't stand it when I mess up. Psalm 103.12 says, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Hebrews 10.17 says, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. The act of our sins being forgiven is like an eternal jump cut where those mistakes that we made are skipped over in the storyline and removed from God's majestic editing program. This is what forgiveness looks like. So the next time you see a quick jump cut, let it serve as a reminder of forgiveness. Those moments between the jump cuts that you never get to see are removed to make the final product clean and flawless, when in actuality, there are a lot of screw-ups along the way. That, in a nutshell, is what Jesus does for each and every one of us. Thanks for watching, and God bless.